Now I will analyze and interpret two sample t-test in SPSS software or independent t-test. So let us look into the problem what they have asked. So test whether diet A and B differ significantly regarding their effect on increase in weight at say 5% level of significance. So now we have to formulate hypothesis that based on this statement and test that hypothesis at 5% level of significance. For that I have formulated hypothesis, null hypothesis as diet A and B differ significantly. Okay, they have asked us whether we have to check whether the diet A and B differ significantly and alternatively, alternative hypothesis diet A and B do not differ significantly. This is the hypothesis uh, that I have formulated for this calculation. Now I will move to the problem. Now to calculate this, uh, the data is already entered. The, uh, now directly going for calculation. So in the analyze, compare means in that independent sample t-test. The data we selected both are independent not dependent on anything so we have the, that is a two sample t test for that i am going to select for independent sample t test now here look at here very importantly test variable and grouping variable the name the type of groups which are uh, available in this uh, scenario whatever the scenario we have to give here firstly i will go for give group variable in this case there are two group that diet a food diet b food okay so that is a group okay i will select diet a and b so again there is a question mark in this we you cannot proceed further unless you clear the question mark to remove question mark i will define the group just i will give code to the group group one is uh, one group two is two now give continue and go to option uh, before going option you have to uh, push that uh, test variable that gains in weight and go to option in the option check the confidence interval for this i will check what is the confidence uh, uh, significance level given in the problem at five percent level of significance which means 99 uh, five percent confidence interval give continue and now give ok now your output is ready so this is our descriptive statistics diet A in N is 10 diet B in is 10 and mean standard deviation standard error look at here independent sample test which means two sample t test so t test in this case is minus 3.234 let us look into the book problem that's a t test what is the t test this minus 3.21 this same as uh, SPSS2 book the t test we obtained in this independent sample t is minus 3.234 and the degree of freedom is 18 that uh, n minus 2 n minus there are two sample in this case to uh, so n minus 2 so look at here significance level and confidence interval we selected 5% level of significance at uh, and 95% confidence interval the data we obtained here the significance level anything must be greater than the significance level we selected for calculation that's 0 0.05 but here it is 0 0.005 which is less than that significance level and we, hence we have to reject this null hypothesis what is that null hypothesis diet a and b differ significantly there is no sufficient evidence to say that diet a and b uh, differ significantly so we will do reject null hypothesis and we are going to say that diet a and b do not sig differ significantly or else uh, null hypothesis do not provide sufficient evidence to support the claim okay so that is the decision you can also see the mean difference of uh, diet a and diet b also Thank you so much for watching. This is how you will uh, test the t-test analyze and interpret in SPSS software. Thank you for watching.